guys, I am just um, repotting this lovely little bishop's hat. It got knocked over and knocked out of its little pot in its seat um, in our house. And this is not a super educational video, just a video um, showing how you can pot these guys up. I put a little bit of... Um, I forgot that this guy was kind of crooked when he came originally, which I got him maybe six months ago. Um, oh, good. I found something to show you. Um, well, not good, but you'll see. Um, <laughs> he was very crooked in his little pot, and so I've been working on straightening him out, and so I added way too much soil to be able to straighten him out. So I am going to do him this way. I added a little piece of moss into the bottom of the pot where the hole is so that it, the dirt doesn't come out the bottom. And I'm just going to kind of press the dirt in here around, around the edges. You just kind of keep going around, letting it settle. You can do this. That helps get the dirt settled. He's still a little bit crooked, so I'm just going to kind of guide him over a little bit. Put a bit more on this side. And I looked at his roots. You know, it's always a good idea when you're repotting to just give a quick look at the roots. And I've um, even dusted a little bit of the soil that was still on them off just to make sure that he was happy and good. And excuse me while I grab a little bit more um, top dressing. But um, what I want to show you up close, which I'm not quite sure if the camera will focus enough. Oops right in the center here that it's it it may be hard to tell because there's a lot of this kind of white speckling anyways but right in the center is a mealy bug don't know if you can see it but it's right there this little fuzzy um almost looks like a fuzzy little aphid i can't even tell if it's focusing come on Well, anyways, you can see the outline of it. You can't see it super good, but you can see the outline of it. So what I'm going to do for that little guy is I'm going to get some alcohol. I have a spray bottle. I didn't have it with me because I didn't see that one little muncher right there. And I am going to spray him down, and I'm going to get a pair of tweezers and pluck that little guy off. Usually I'd use a Q-tip, but it won't work because he's down in the little cross here. Um, and the roots didn't show any, any hint of any mealies at all, so that's good. I don't see any more anywhere else on the sky, so, um, I don't know if you can hear my son and husband playing a card game inside, but they're hollering and laughing really loud. It's so funny. So if I randomly chuckle, it's probably because of them, and I can't tell if you can hear them or not. But anyways, I'm going to get rid of that little guy. Um, if for any reason you couldn't reach down and get him, you can just soak him with alcohol, just rubbing alcohol, um, just straight out of the bottle or with a spray bottle or however you can do it. Um, and you can spray the whole plant. You can even soak the top little bit of soil because the alcohol evaporates off before the plant can absorb it through the root system as long as you don't soak the pot. Um, and it's great. It is amazing for killing uh, mealybugs. And I have thought about posting a video, but I was like, oh, that might be controversial, but called something like, you know, the lazy, um, the lazy person's cure for mealybugs, and that's because um, I wasn't actually lazy. I was really ill at the time, but I just take a bottle of alcohol and just, you know, and, and, and soak the plant and the top dressing and set it aside. The next day, I do the same thing again, set it aside, and then I take the sprayer in my sink and rinse it off uh, the day after that. And 
all, it kills all of the mealy bugs and stops them in their tracks. And then I hose them all off because you do need to remove them. If you don't remove them the next day, they kind of start breaking down into this sappy, sticky mess. So I like to do it that, you know, put alcohol on them one day, put alcohol on them the next day. And it does take two doses almost always to kill them all and, um, or else more hatch out. I'm not quite sure. And, um, then hose them off with a strong stream like the sprayer on your kitchen sink and you can just wash them right off. They'll die and just wash right off. And um, it's not ideal. Again, you should remove them as you, you know, go remove every single bug ideally. But if you can't, if you either have a whole lot or you're sick or just flat can't, um, or their plant just isn't that important to you to wipe off, you know, a hundred mealybugs or something if you get in massive infestation and you're just like, I'm sorry, I just don't care enough. Well, right